You can trivialize the shield generator boss by using the morph pounce after defeating the first form. Run away! That's it! Run away! Use the gun node to take it out as fast as possible, letting the missiles damage you. Once you've destroyed the first core, the generator will dip down into the toxic flow to fire a laser. Use this opportunity to morph pounce over to it, and from here you can dodge all of its attacks. After positioning yourself properly, the homing missiles won't reach you anymore, which means you can freely attack in gun form. This unfortunately means you won't have access to the other gun node, but this method doesn't require you to avoid damage. Dodging the homing missiles requires you to constantly abandon the gun node, while this method means you never stop firing. Additionally, all of the shield generator's attacks, in its final form, can't even hit Nevin. Since the shield generator sinks after it's destroyed, Nevin will fall and respawn in the middle of the cutscene. The Citadel shield is down, Stone. Can you go on? Of course I can go on, you punk! If you want to completely avoid the second form's attacks, you can jump inside of the generator. The generator has other weapons. Once you defeat this phase of the battle, though, Nevin will fall and respawn on the Crescent platform for the final part. 